Hello, this is Lolly, and welcome back. I subscribed to the Tonic Craft Kit, which is a monthly curated craft projects prepared exclusively for you. This is craft kit number 38. So again, this is the first one I have subscribed to. And I subscribed to it because I saw the sneak peek of this kit. And I knew, well, the die set that was in there. And I knew that I really wanted the die set. You, when, you, when they announce the set, you have time to either subscribe to it or buy just the one individual kit. But I decided to subscribe and try it out. So let's take a peek. I have not opened it yet. So just announcing their glitter sale, which I already knew about. We'll have to figure that out. All right. So I think this is the die set. I'll put that aside for now. So it's mica mist, really pretty, in berry swirl. So it's one of those mica sprays. I think there's probably a little shaker thing in there. So let me let this get to room temperature. It's a very beautiful color. It reminds me of kind of the icy blue winter collections that there are. A Nouveau Drop. And this one is a translucent one. Ooh. Limoncello. And this is a sample size of embossing powder in golden sunflower so it's a nice thing that nice trial size that you can try something out for the first time looks like we have a color scheme going on here and i love the reusable bag here this is their metro gray ink pad here Ooh, i love me some glitter and Enchanted Eden Pure Sheen. Oh my goodness. That is gorgeous. It looks like microfine. I'm not I have not used their glitter before, but I do know that um microfine is my favorite kind of glitter to use. And then we have a tape runner here. Adhesive tape runner. This is their um, solid clear tape. This is their full size. 8 millimeter by 8 meter and I think this is some paper here ooh loving what I see wow we've got some holographic there I hope the glare isn't too bright look at that oh my goodness that's a nice sturdy piece and we've got a piece of frosty kind of a yellow maize color and it's beautiful frost on both sides you've got a textured silver Ooh, this will go great with that glitter there. This is more like a linen. I don't know the name of that color. And this is a frosty, kind of a mint color. Oh my gosh, look at the texture of this. And it's, it's a more soft, floppy paper. Oh, it looks like it's woven almost, but it's just the, like it's embossed. So you could even take an ink pad and rub over that and bring out some of that dimension. And then we just have like um, silver metal cardstock. And this looks like a linen-y sunflower color. Great color collection here. See, I didn't even know what all came in these kits. I just knew that when I saw the die set that I really wanted that. So again, and then I see that they have holes here, and I am told that um, every so often, like every third or fourth kit or so, uh, it may include some kind of binder to hold all these. So, oh, we have a stamp set. Let me get some solid color behind here so we can see these. Well done for someone special without the, pl oh, without the plastic. So a little something special. Treat yourself. Hey birthday boy, hey birthday girl, you can't buy happiness. And then it's for, you deserve this in without plastic. So what this is, oh, I love it. It's never too late to start something new. You know what? I think this is going to go in my 2020 planner. I love that sticker. Okay. Oh, this tells you. Oh, great. I love it. I'm going to go over this. So this is the die set. And it shows you what it is. It's a gift card wallet. So, and it shows you, I now I know I can, I'm going to save this. 
I know the names of all these papers there. So it's the die set, the stamps. The cards are spearmint green, amber yellow. Mirror, the mirror card is water sprites. The mirror card frosted silver. Pearlescent cards are blue frost and ivory sheen. The specialty card is silver silk and yellow bamboo. Then there's a tape runner, the ink pad, the glitter, the drops, the mist, embossing powder, and the sticker. I love that. I'm really going to do something special with that. So here is the stamp set. So you can see that it is the size to make a wallet for gift cards. And it folds over beautifully. It's so fun. So what I'll do is I will quickly make a project with this. Here are the dies. This one here is the main wallet. This is the pocket for the inside that can hold a gift card and also hold a just a little greeting card, which would be this one right here. There's some sayings to deboss into it. There's all kinds of fun stuff here. Beautiful laces that we can use on here. So let's get playing. I think what I want to do is look at this first. I love this frosty color, this frosty yellow color. I'm going to use that to do the main wallet. So you can do this, cut that out, and if you want to create a panel to do on this, you can do a solid panel, and you can also, if you wish, put this through there at the same time to create a lace panel. So many options. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Okay, let's get this cut first. Now I'm going to zoom in here to show you that there are two score lines here and here, here and here. And those enable it to be thick. So these are gussets. So when I fold and score on those, I need to make sure that I get those scored, uh, folded and burnished right on those. So now it's a little boxy now. Okay. And I need to cut this out as well in the same material. It could be a different different color, but I want it to be that one. Okay. Same thing. There's two score lines here. Now I could glue this in, but I would rather, if I'm going to decorate it, I would rather decorate that first. So that fits right in there like that. But I think I do want to put a panel on it. Now I do have this one that I can use as a panel to cut out something lacy to go over that. I have two of them. Okay, there's this one and this one. And this one is more leafy. This one is more floral. I think I will go with this floral here. So what I think I will do is go ahead and cut this one out in white, probably. And I used the pocket again to cut out the outside of it. I think that is beautiful. Oh, you can see the frost behind it. All I need to do is trim off the very bottom here so that this will um, not have to get folded under to construct the card. Just cut that off and this will glue onto that. That is so lovely. Now I think before I assemble this, I also want to use some of the Nouveau Drops on that. And this is the Limoncello, and so it's a very translucent yellow, but I think it'll go really well with this project, this project with this paper underneath there. So I'm just going to put some of the drops in the middle of all these flowers here. Oh, that's so pretty. Very cute. And I'm just going to add another one here for accent. Now we will set that aside to dry. Nouveau drops are self-leveling and you don't have to store them upside down. Okay, now this would be, so this would be the outside here and you could decorate this panel as well if you wanted. Another thing you could also magnetize this and I think I might do that. If I put um, 
a solid panel here, I could put a magnet under that. So let me get a solid panel for this. And then uh, let's see if this fits. This can fit here for a panel there, so I have a magnet under that. Okay, so let's get those cut out. And then I can still put a lace filigree sort of thing over that. Now these um, are not quite the same height as this, but there's another piece here that you can use to fill that in, or you can use this spot to put your sentiment, which I think I might do. So I can cut out a little filigree and put that on there afterwards. This will be for the bottom piece. This will be for the inside here, so I have a way to cover those magnets up. So I have the magnets here. These are the super thin, really strong magnets. And I have the super strong red line tape here. So I'm just going to put one down on here. If you've watched my other videos, I have used E6000 in the past for this, and it's great. But then on the other hand, you've got the issue of having to wait for that to set up, too. Okay, I'm just making sure I got that where I want it. Sort of in the middle. And then I'm going to put red line tape over that as well. Okay. Now when I put this on, I'm not going to put glue over that tape because I want that tape to adhere to my cardstock, not to the glue. So I'm just going to go around it, but not on it. Give myself a little border there and adhere. Now I want to get the other magnet on there. Let that stick by itself. Actually, I need to do this. Let's get that magnet where it needs to go. If I slide it down here, it will find itself. There, it found its mate. And I'm going to move the card where I need it. And that shows me where to put that. Okay, so now I'm going to adhere that to the cardstock. And I don't want to move my cardstock. Pull the tape off. Let it find its mate. But now when I close this, I need to realize that this card, this is going to have some depth here. So I'm not going to fold it flat on either count. Okay, and now it will shut up properly. And I can go ahead and embellish now how I want. Okay, so I want to cut one of these out. And I think what color I should use. I think I want to bring in some of this minty green color. It's really pretty too. Ooh, that is gorgeous. I think those two colors look stunning together. Oh my. Now you see that covers that up and it still leaves me room here for a sentiment if I wish. Or I could do it this way. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, I love it. Now um, I'm looking at these, so I have stamps and I can use one of these to cut out a sentiment. I could also deboss one, which says a little gift for someone special. I could deboss it. So however I want to do that, I think I might do the stamp because I want to play with that. So let's get one of these out. You can't buy happiness. These ones need a bigger piece though. They need this. Use my scrap. Let's 
So let's get that die cut. I will lay this over there, tape it down, and run it through the machine. So we have the sentiment, which will fit right there, but I want that to pop a little bit. So I'm going to use the glitter here and get that adhered on there. I'm going to use the glue pen. I want to get that edge done. Let's see if I'm getting enough glue on there. Might need a little more. Now we need a different sheet of paper for uh -huh, collecting our glitter, or we could cover this up. There we go, very cute. This is a rather translucent green, so I knew it would be okay with this project. It wouldn't overpower anything. The white is showing through. Okay, now I need to decide if I'm going to do anything for this, and I think because of how colorful this is, that it has that mint in there, that I want to bring some of that in there as well too. So I will use this and go ahead and cut out the mint in that. Oh, that is so precious. I just love that frost. Another thing is when you cut these out, the little pieces that pop out like these little petals, you can use one color to fill in the blanks on another color. All right, I'm going to let this set up and then we will work on the outside cover and assembling this. Okay, so I, this is really cute. Now this is dried, it's very adorable. So let's go ahead and get this in here. So you can see it's also got that gusset there. I'm gonna put this in there, right above that top score line. And you need to center it, center it left and right. Now because this pocket does not go all the way out to the sides, when you fold these in and glue it, you have to be careful because you can see how it doesn't go all the way to the edge of this. So therefore, don't glue it all the way to the corner of this fold here. So I'm going to, oops. So I'm going to put it just on the edge and just on the edge here. I do recommend liquid glue for this because the tape will not dry. Now I'm just going to hold that for quite a while here to make sure that that stays because my glue uh, that I'm using can be repositionable up for a while and so I want to make sure that this actually adheres. You could also decorate this part right down below. I want to make a card to insert in here. So I'm going to be using this and I'm going to uh, die cut that in white. That is so cute, but I want to take this and says it's your birthday and I am going to tape that down and run that through the die cutting machine. Now it is really cute, but as you can see it's it's pretty delicate. So I want to back up just the top of this. I don't necessarily need to back up the whole card. So I'm going to take the same die and just cut a portion like this out of my cardstock and put that on the back of my card. So that gives me a pop of color by only using my scraps. So now I want to get that adhered behind this. Another way to make these words pop would be to glue or put embossing over the you can use glue or embossing ink over the letters and then add glitter or embossing powder. Now you see the back is still cute, but it's perfect for here. And now I can still put a gift card in there as well. So this shuts, whoops, it's a little high. There, there. Okay, so my flap. 
I don't have to do anything with that. I can use other decorations. I have magnets, so I don't need to use this, which is like, you could use this as a belt, and these are like belt buckles to thread your belt through. Um, but I think what I want to do is a little gift for someone special, and I want to deboss that on a piece of cardstock. And I think that may fit through here, and it will. But I have to do it in two, different, two separate pieces. So let me do it this way. Oops. And if you're not, if you don't like having the words showing, if you do this, just flip it around and put the words on top and the lace on the bottom. Okay, so I'm going to do this, put this and that on my cardstock and run it through like that. And again, I have used my scraps and I want you to see how perfect this is. Isn't that precious? So that can go here. But I think what I want to do is maybe get a little lace or something behind that. So I have this, but I think I think what I'll do is go ahead and do the lace over that entire border up there. I'm trying to get the scallop centered here. And now let's do this. I love that that's magnetic, and I think the lace really helps there to bring that out. So that is a really cute thing you can do. You can also put something like right there on the tip. You know, you can add buttons, you can add little gems, anything that would bring that out. I like the fact that this is sparkly, so a gem might be a perfect thing there. But I think I'll put a little pearl right there, and I'm using gem tack. That is set. Now I'm going to show you some of the other ones that I'm making, so stay tuned. Okay, so there's the first one that I showed you, and this one is using that lovely textured paper. It is amazing. It reminds me of like tweed. It's so pretty. The only thing I would recommend is when I put my strap on, I put it a little low, so it does connect through there, but I think I should have made it go up a little higher. You could also reverse that and put the little clasp on the back. So there's this one. Isn't that pretty? And I did one in that green cardstock and I used silver. I made a belly band. My gift to you. And I used the silver as a background. Now this one, when I put the die on it, instead of punching the pieces out, I left them all in and glued it in there, and I like that look. And then underneath it says, a little gift for someone special. Very fun. Loved working with this set, and this is a really, really cute way to, to include gift cards or just a tiny little thank you card for someone. So... Uh, <laughs> So when they have, I, uh, this is my first time subscribing to their craft kit. Again, this is not a sponsored video. I subscribe to this on my own. So um, the 38 is still available in the U.S. Uh, I think it looks like it's sold out in the U.K. Uh, I may be mistaken about that. I know you can start ordering with 39 right now. So lots of fun. Uh, give it a try. And thank you so much for watching.